Hey everyone, um, tonight I am starting a new YouTube channel called NTX Fly Tying Simple Tips and Tricks. Um, and my target audience and my goal with this is to try to help those out who are just starting um, to tie their own flies and to just share some of the knowledge. I know some of the videos out there that you watch, you know, people are very polished, they do a great job, but they go too fast and some of the the names that they use is can be confusing at times so I'm gonna try to keep this simple um, for those of you that are that are just starting and of course people who are uh, polished you know are welcome to to watch the videos as well and hit the like button um, so tonight I'm starting off with a size 18 I'm gonna tie a zebra midge a black zebra midge um, and um, I'm going to use a size 18 hook, a Tempco uh, 2457. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if the 2457. Like I said, this is my first attempt, so I uh, might have to go back and edit some stuff. Anyway, I'm also going to use a, a size 2.0 tungsten bead. And one of the things that I use is uh, needle nose pliers to try to get it onto the little tiny hook there. That seems to work out for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just now turn around or turn the hook around, tie it into my vise, and I'm set. Now, one of the things that I picked up when I was ordering materials. Um, is some places that you order from um, will ship things or they will sell things in uh, metric. Uh, I'm talking about the beads or they'll use standard sizes. So um, this is what I have here with my vise. You guys, uh, I'll leave that up there for just a second. Uh, you guys can screenshot that, keep it in your phone, put it in your favorites and whenever you go to the store or you're ordering something you have a quick conversion kit okay so hopefully that helps okay I'm gonna start off with Danville 70 near black and just simply gonna tie in behind the bead and get started okay one of the things that I do is I tie in my wire early tie it up at the top and they'll just work work it down with with the thread so all I'm going to do here is just simply cross it, cross it, uh, the hook with it, and you can see. Hopefully, you can see that there. And I'm just going to slide that back, and then tie the rest of it in. And now my goal is to create a taper. Taper. I'm going to try to keep the wire on the side of the fly, down with the body. work it down. At this point I'm also going to tie a piece of flash hollow silver tinsel in small. So I'm going to tie that into the back as a little tail just a little piece of flash and I will be covering that up as I move forward and create a tapered body. So I'm going to work myself well into the bend of the hook and then go ahead and work myself back up covering the rest of that tinsel back to the top I'm going to work my way back down about three quarter still covering up that tinsel I'm going to create that tapered body all the way back up to the top back down to about halfway back to the top and then a quarter way down and start building up behind that bead head so this should give you a good little tapered look there at this point just gonna take simply take my wire I want to counter wrap here if you have a rotary vise you can use the feature there and use the rotary to 
go ahead and put or segment your body there. I usually just use go by hand. There's some instances where that feature in your vise does come in handy. Um, at this point, I'm up at the bead. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that in. Couple in front, couple behind, and you got a couple options here. You can heli helicopter your wire off, or you can use a pair of scissors. Is it? But what I recommend is that you have a couple pair of scissors handy if you're going to use scissors to cut wire. They'll eventually dull out, so I would have a pair of scissors for your wire and then of course a pair of scissors for your thread that would remain sharp. At, th at this point that's about it for this zebra midge. Now it's time to whip finish. Hopefully I can uh, slow down the whip finish enough for you all to see this. There are videos out on YouTube that will help you with this but basically you're taking your whip finish tool. It's really simple you just use the hinge here let it flip over and you're crossing your thread across and going around your thread about four or five times make sure it's tight nice and snug snip the thread and there you go size 18 zebra midge um, like I said I'm here to help those who are just getting started um, Please hit the like button, subscribe. If you have any comments, uh, please leave them below. Or if there's anything that you'd like to uh, see me tie or attempt to try, um, please let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.